Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a post and rail fence, well, simple post and rail fence, but we're going to base it off of a curve. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos, and don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, in a previous tutorial, we built a very simple post and rail fence that allowed us to control the height and the length, and when we um, made a fence post higher, it would add more rails, and when we made a fence post longer, it would add more posts. But now what I want to do is I want to um, basically lay down some points following, say, this grid here, and then be able to plot our fence path, and it create our fence automatically based on where we are going. So we'll start with in, in the network view with a fresh, um, uh, a fresh uh, project, and um, then we'll right-click, Geometry, and give it a name, so we'll name it Fence, and then double click on the node. So inside this we'll right click Curve, and click. And then what we'll do is when we go over to this window here, if we uh, click on Curve and then hit Enter, you'll see down here it tells us that we can place our points. Now turn on Grid Snapping because this will mean it snap, it'll snap perfectly to the grid, and for the purpose of this we'll just um, we'll snap it to the grid. So then start, click a point on the, our grid here, move along, click another point, move along, and you can see there. When you finish, press enter again. So we've got our curve created here. If you can't see, if yours is uh, like this, where you're just getting um, highlighted here, uh, what we can do, yeah, yours may look like this. We turn on the points here, so click the points and the point numbers. So now you've got something similar to mine, hopefully. And um, if you want to get out of the view where you've got this, you can just click the mouse button here. So what then we're going to do is we're going to put our posts in. So what we'll do is we'll right click in the network view, type in tube, and just place that down. And then in under primitive type in the uh, window up here, uh, we'll drop down polygon and that will cre create our tube for us. Now what we'll do is we will center it so it's center of the grid, not at the bottom. So what we'll do is select the middle one, type 0.5, and that's now, now that means that when we resize this, it'll always go up and it won't go both ways, um, which is not what we want. Um, then what we'll do on the uh, is drag off of the tube pin and hit tab and type in uh, uh, fill and select polyfill, then select our little blue um, view node. And then under fill mode of that, select triangle fan, scroll down as before, untick deform patch. So as you can see, um, we've got a nice triangle fan. And if we don't uh, untick deform patch, we've also got an elevation here. So we'll untick that so it's level. So now we've got our very simple fence post. Now we'll drag off of the polyfill, tab again, transform. And this is going to allow us later to control the height. And currently we just want to control the uh, width of it, or the radius. And um, so under scale, uh, first scale, we'll type in, say, 0.1. And the last scale, we'll type in that, the same value. So as you can see here, we've got our little post. So now what we want to do is we want to copy our post to each of our points here. So what we'll do is we'll right click, copy to, and then we'll select copy points. And um, so we'll just, for tidiness sake, we'll just shift this around here. We plug our curve into our target points to copy, and then we'll plug our uh, post into that one. And then we'll select the view um, view button here, and um, display button, sorry. And as you can see here, we are now getting our posts into each of our locations of our primary points based off of this curve. So we've got here, one, two, three, and um, zero, one, two, three. And um, so now, what we want to do is we want to create a rail that can basically go all the way along this. So what we'll do is we will copy our tube here, paste that, and then we'll right click, type in sweep, and select that. And we will basically plug in sweep, uh, plug in, sorry, our curve to our first section and um, then plug in our tube to our next one. And then what we want to do is we will scroll down. Where is it? Where is it? With our node. And we'll select, oh, so what we can do is we can get rid of the tube here. We can select our sweep and under surface shape, select round tube. So now straight away, 
we've got our round tube that goes all the way along. We don't need end caps on it because the post will be intersecting with this. Um, then what we can do is we can set the radius of this. So we want it slightly thinner than the, the main post. So we'll set it to 0 0.07. And now what we can do is we can uh, create a merge and we'll plug our copy points into the merge and our sweep into the merge. So as I say, what this sweep node does is it basically sweeps um, a piece of geometry. So currently we've got round tube, we can change the square tube. Um, we could, you know, there's all sorts of things here, ribbons, it's flat, and um, our own geometry as well, but we're just gonna stick to round tube for this. And as you can see here, so it's, it's, um, it's essentially, I guess it's a bit like a loft. And um, so this has gone all the way through. So now what we need to do is we need to now connect um, this sweeped node, so this rail, to a height, um, uh, yeah, uh, to, to apply this to our height so we can have like a rail up here and then a second rail. So what we'll do is we'll right click in our network, type in line, and we'll name this height. So just click on the name, height. So then that's going to bring in our little line node here. After that we'll type resample, and this is going to allow us to create our nodes here. So we'll just currently set that to 90.98. Uh, so that gives us three posts here. So then what we want to do is we want to obviously copy this to um, our sweep, uh, our line here. We want to copy our fence, our fence rail, sorry, to our line here. So what we'll do is we'll right click, copy to points, and then we will drag our geometry into the first one and our points into the second one. So now you can see here we've got three rails. Now, um, well, what we can do is we can select this line here and disconnect it and then re-plug in the, co the new copy to points to our merge. So then when we look at that, we've got two problems here. We've got an extra fence rail post at the bottom and like the previous video, we've got a rail that is sitting above the post. So what we will do is we'll address the post first. So what we'll do is we go back to um, our... Right, yeah, what we'll do first is we'll go to a line here, so click on the line, and we will uh, right click on length, copy parameter, and we'll go to transform, and then what we'll do is delete the scale um, value in the middle, paste that with paste relevant references. So what this is doing is, again, um, this allows us now to control our um, post height via this value. and. Um, then what we want to do is obviously increase this. So if we go back to our transform where we posted in, uh, just pasted in our content, we've got this now. So if you haven't got this, you might have that. All you've got to do is click scale and it shows you this. So then what we can do at the end is we can add plus, uh, say 0.2, and that gives us now. So basically what that's saying is that is saying that whatever this value is, we also want to add plus two on top of it so that basically this is always staying above um, our rail height here. So. Now we've got our very simple um, post uh, fence, post and rail fence here. So what we're going to do is uh, remove this initial bottom one here. So what we can do then is off of this, um, we will drag off tab group and we'll group by range. And we'll just uh, select this uh, line here and delete, delete and select group range, group range. And we'll give this a name. So we'll name it group uh, first point. And then we'll also net rename this here, say GRP, GRP, first point. I'll spell it right, first point, there we go. And what we'll then do is click on this and we want to basically, so make sure our group type is points and then we want to drop down range type start end. And what we'll do is then we will just get rid of that. We will drag, just move those up and drag off the group pin and type blast, uh, drag off tab blast. And um, then what we'll do is we'll just drop down our thing, our group list here and select group first point. So what it's done there, as you can see, is it's removed the first point. What we can do is we can say, go to there. We can add that point back if we, if we want, but we want it off. So now, when we plug this into our copy to uh, points here, we should, in theory, when we go to our end node here, we now have a fence. So what happens here is that when we move our height um, value is that that should continue adding more posts, uh, rails, sorry, as you can see here, and it's based off of our curve. So I think, I believe, in theory, if we go to our curve and then hit enter, we should, um, it says shift click on the curve to insert a point 
outside. So you shift, leave click, and um, there we go. Now we can start adding more to our fence. Um, as you can see here, it's um, deals with moving off of us off of the grid as well. Absolutely fine. So there we can do. We move all our fence all the way around, and um, then in, I think in theory we can close the curve as well. And oh no, it doesn't like that. So we'll come back to that in a later tutorial. But as you can see here, we've very quickly created a little fence that you could use in like a horse paddock or you know something like that. Um, that can be controlled by the height value here to get us more rails if we need or less rails we can see there and um so yeah hope that's helped